This is one of the great features of the new Telegram release. It is uh, version 8.4.4 on mobile devices. Now on Android, it occurs on every single Android device. On Apple, it needs to have a version 15 or higher for the translate feature, feature to be accessed. So this is on an Android. Let me show you. Um, if you go to the menu item over here, uh, and you go to settings, you then will go to the languages section here. And if you tap on languages, there's a new section button there that says translate messages. Mine is on, but usually it will be by default off. Um, previously, it had the language area, so you could flip over to other languages. Just be careful when you tap on these languages, all your instructions on the device that relates to Telegram will go into that language. So don't choose a language that you can't work out how to find your way back. I'm going to choose Netherlands because it's more like Afrikaans, which I'm familiar with. So I can get around to that. So I'm going to just flip the show translate button off first. If I tap Netherlands, you're going to see that the, all the words Instelling, uh, Meldeling van Geleden, Privacy and Veiligheid. So those are all in Dutch now. And you can see the taal daaronder. It changes to taal. If I go back there, you can see it's in Netherlands. So the bottom area is for the Telegram device instructions and labels and all that sort of thing. And when you type, you'll type in that particular language mostly. Uh, so in my case, it's English. So you see all the stuff come back into English. But if I tap on language again, this show translate button, pretty much it's for when you receive a message from somebody else and it's in a different language. When you get that message, you are able to tap the message and it will be able to translate it into English for you. Okay, so if I flip the button on, what it says there is do not translate English. So it anticipates that your mother tongue or your understanding language is English. If you have two languages that you understand and you don't want to be translated, then you just tap on to do not translate and it will pop out a list of languages that you shouldn't translate. So in this case here, and I could do multiple selections. For example, if I tap Netherlands, then whenever somebody sends me a Netherlands message or an English message, um, it won't translate it into anything because it accepts that those are the languages that I'm okay with. But in this case, I'm just disable Netherlands again, and I only would uh, want English not to be translated. Then I go back. So in this case, when we look through it now from top to bottom, it's going to show a translate button. Once I tap the message that is coming to me, it's going to give me an option to, to press a translate selection. Do not translate. That's if I understand multiple languages. And the bottom area is for the whole Telegram language interface as we're working. OK, so let's see how that will play out. Okay, to show you how it works, I've sent from my other device, I've sent through a message and I've sent it through in Afrikaans. Now that is one of the languages of South Africa. Um, I speak English and Afrikaans, but I'll show you that if I got an Afrikaans message or any other language, um, how you'd be able to interpret. Say this, this message came through, Rory Townsend sent it through, and I open it up. It says, Ek is besig om jou boodskap te stuur. Say for me of you did for Stan. So that's in Afrikaans. What I'll do is, and in your case it might come in, in French or Chinese, you just tap once on the message and you'll have the normal things with reply, copy, and kind of pin it, etc. But there you see translate is, is one of the options. If I tap translate, it's automatically going to read that it is the Afrikaans language. So I didn't tell it that it's Afrikaans, it will interpret what language it is and if it's in its database, it automatically will translate it into my uh, choice of language on the phone, which is English. It says, I'm sending you a message, tell me if you understand. So I trust this will help you, especially if you're working in business and the people you're communicating with on Telegram uh, are fluent in other languages, you, you can keep doing that uh, conversion. Uh, I know there are other systems on Telegram where you have a bot that's able to help you with translations, but we don't want to introduce any third-party stuff into the space. Also, I'm aware that there are other 
Telegram um, clones. So they build it on the Telegram platform and then they add translators built into it. What I'm talking about is the core Telegram uh, application. This is the one that's released officially from Telegram. They have this translate feature built into it now. Okay, have a great day and uh, be blessed. Shalom.